for it. You can read it for yourself. That's uh, about 400 and something pages. Can't say I've read it all, but I've read uh, most of it. There's an unredacted version over in the classified section of the Senate. You see the size of that? That's almost a Bible, guys, by the way. And this is Healthcare Sucks. Welcome to the show. In terms of an outcome, but a bit about the Mueller report. Who is Mueller? For those who may not know, I don't know where you've been, but you may not know, Bob Mueller has a reputation in this town and throughout the country as being an outstanding lawyer and a man of the law. He was the FBI director. He was the deputy attorney general. He was in charge of the criminal division at the Department of Justice. He was a United States Marine. And he has served his country in a variety of circumstances long and well. For those who took time to read the report, I think it was well written, very thorough. And let me tell you what went into this report. There were 19 lawyers employed, approximately 40 FBI agents, intel analysts, forensic, forensic accountants, and other staff, 2,800 subpoenas issued, 500 witnesses interviewed, 500 search warrants executed, more than 230 orders for communication records so they records could be obtained, 13 requests to foreign governments for evidence, over $25 million spent over two years. We may not agree on much, but I hope we can agree that he had ample resources, took a lot of time, and talked to a lot of people. And you can read for yourself what he found. The Attorney General will tell us a bit about what his opinion of the report is. In terms of interacting with the White House, the White House turned over to Mr. Mueller 1.4 million documents and records, never asserted executive privilege one time, over 20 White House staffers, including eight from the White House Counsel's Office, were interviewed voluntarily. Don McGahn, and with that being said, I don't even think they went through OJ's case this hard and this much. I'd have to go back and look at But when you talk about the documents that were provided from the White House, the subpoenas, the people interviewed, and it to come out the way it is, this is the biggest nothing booger that I have ever seen in my life. And I don't use that term lightly. So with that... This is a big parade of clowns. Clowns on the left, clowns on the right. They're just trying to occupy our time. It, it This is over. This is done. I mean, anybody that thinks this is not, or that thinks there's more underneath here, there is nothing more underneath here. I mean, these guys, these senators are more guilty than the current president ever is going to be found out to be uh, and the ones that are running on the left right now and the ones that are not backing the right uh, they are a joke so with that being said it's just my two cents worth for the day we're going to be doing a few videos today with healthcare sucks and uh we're going to get into some good healthcare sucking things that have been going on, and uh, I can let you know that healthcare is continuing to suck. And uh, with that being, everybody, love you all. Go outside if it's nice, like it is here in Oregon, and uh, have a little fun. You can always review these clowns later. Uh, with that being said, don't forget, healthcare sucks. Over and out.